All right, this this uh, podcast today is going to be a quick one uh, talking about a new feature we've added. Uh, on the screen capture I'm showing now is, is the, the page. Once you've established an account, you've got your farm data in. On the right-hand side, you can see that uh, as we have implemented new parts to the model, uh, the yield update was first with base acre reallocation and the, the uh, PLC ARC decision aid. And then recently we turned on the uh, insurance um, component that allows you to look at your overall insurance on your on your uh, operation by uh, by crop. And then today's I'm going to focus on the next one, which is the ARC PLC evaluator for generic cotton base. Uh, right below that, you see it's not blue yet. That means we haven't turned it on because we're not finished with it. Is something called the generic base selection assistance, and that is a very comprehensive tool that's looking at economics as well as potential farm program payments to help uh, producers who have generic base, which used to be cotton base, uh, decide what they want to do on those 21 covered crops that they could pot potentially produce in the near future, the next five years, uh, not knowing exactly what you're going to produce. It's, it's a little bit difficult to say, but uh, that was not quite ready yet. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you the uh, ARC PLC evaluator for generic cotton. So if you click on that, uh, it's a very simple tool. Uh, it isn't the comprehensive answer you'd get from uh, the, the tool we're still working on, or if you're looking at, uh, if you've actually produced some of the crops uh, on other acres other than your cotton acres, you already kind of have an idea of what you'd do with those as well. But in this particular tool, you're going to select your state and county, and it, you can see by the this sheet it says select the, the state first. Obviously we need you to go state, county, and then hit go. And once you do that, uh, it's it's going to provide you the uh, uh, some estimates of payments and I'll get into all that. So in this particular example, I use Dawson County, Texas, which is La Mesa, Texas. A lot of cotton there. So there's some other crops that have been grown historically in the area. Uh, but for many of the covered commodities, there's not going to be information available. So uh, starting from the top, what did we do? What we did was calculated pri uh, PLC payments, price loss coverage payments, if uh, assuming that you didn't have any information and, and they would, you'd be getting an assigned yield to somewhere close to the uh, previous uh, county average uh, CCP yield. Again, is that, that's an assumption. Just make sure you understand that you're, it might be a little bit different, but it gives you an idea. And then it takes the information that is available from USDA, FSA, and you, it calculates the ARC payments. So when you, when you do this, this is kind of a, just to start kind of thinking through this process of what would I do uh, type of decision aid. Uh, you're going to see as we have a few rows where there's data and a few rows where it says there's not the default counter cycle yield is not available for that area. Obviously, I'll take a pretty s simple one. Uh, long grain, medium grain rice, there's no yield data for far west Texas. That makes perfect sense. Uh, while that is an option for you and you will probably be making a choice on it, uh, it's not something you've ever grown or would actually grow out there. So. Uh, there isn't going to be data for some things, but where there is data, we wanted to give you some, some early insight. First thing, oh, you see on the red box that wheat is split between irrigated and dry land. What does that mean? That means that USDA FSA has decided that uh, in uh, Dawson County, uh, the practice of uh, the, the crop wheat has two practices, and so you could have a split ARC County uh, calculation on dry land yields and irrigated yields. You all know that the FSA will have one yield for wheat and it would be a basically a weighted average of the two practices if you're actually doing both on your farm. So when you look at this, this calculated, this tool would use that one yield for the price loss coverage payments. So basically for irrigated dryland wheat, the, the payments are both $25 an acre estimated. Uh, on the Art County, uh, obviously, you got a different county yield for irrigated versus dry land, and so you're going to have a different estimated payments over the life of the bill. The main thing to remember here is we're, you, we're using FAPRI's latest uh, price projections just to give you an idea. So if you've got all this generic base and you don't know what you're going to do with it, but you do know you're going to have to be, at sign up, you're going to have to say on generic base that, on, uh, for example, if I plant corn on it in the next uh, however many years, 
uh, I would be in this program. Uh, you're going to need to do that. Now, unfortunately, on corn in my example, we didn't have any data for it. We do have sorghum. We do have uh, uh, peanuts and sunflowers. So for the crops where we do have data, uh, this is going to give you an idea. Some of the crops, I would suggest that, that FSA is going to provide some county data that we can do the calculations. Some of the crops, I'm not so sure that we will get data because it's maybe something that's never been grown in that area of Texas or maybe even not even in Texas. So this little tool is just basically to show, to show you kind of how these payments work out and, and it, it, it can be a little bit confusing. Let's take grain sorghum. Uh, grain sorghum, if you use the uh, county yield for price loss coverage, it's $58 uh, estimated payment over the life of the bill. Uh, under ARC uh, County, it would be 50 not a big difference. Where it does get into some significant differences is on the line of peanuts. Uh, peanuts is something that could be grown on generic base in, in Texas, very, in that part of Texas very easily because it is al already being grown there. Uh, it looks like price loss coverage would be an estimated payment of about $800 an acre versus Art County would be about $125. You need to make sure to start thinking through this process. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and kind of uh, finish on this note. If you're a producer and you have an irrigated circle and you've got wheat, irrigated wheat under, you know, obviously under irrigation, and the corners would be dry land and they're dry land wheat. Uh, you need to look at this because uh, in one respect, price loss coverage is better for wheat uh, if it's not broken out by type. If you have mostly irrigated wheat, the 53 is significantly higher than the 20, so picking Art County would be, would make uh, economic sense to do that. If you're significantly more dry land wheat with very little irrigated, uh, averaging a lot more of the 20 uh, with a little bit of the 53 acre, $53 over the life of the bill uh, would, would give you uh, maybe a little bit different look on what you should do. Again, this isn't the final answer. We're working on the... Uh, uh, final decision A that will be turned on this month and that will help you with all the decisions with regard to cotton but for now we wanted to give you an idea of, of what things how things would uh, look uh, until next time thank you